Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome to a brand new game on the channel, Be Castled. But before I get into the game I want to do my usual thank you, so thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel, thank you for everyone who's liked my previous videos, uh, I appreci appreciate each and every one of you. Right, Be Castled, yes this is a brand new game that's come out on Steam and I've been having a look at it and I wasn't quite sure at first. Um, but I got it, and there is a free demo as well at the moment. I don't know how long that's going to be available for, so hopefully that will still be around when you're watching this video. Uh, video's going out at the moment. Uh, this week's been a bit quiet because uh, I've had a few things going on, uh, so I haven't done uh, any ETS or farming videos. Um, however, we've got a flight video going out. Um, that's just gone out on Friday. Random videos over the weekend. Mondays um, should be uh, trucking. And Wednesdays should be farming. Um, but yeah, I, I stumbled across this and I thought I'd have a quick look at it. And it's a bit of a mixture. It, it looks a little bit like Foundation for anyone that's seen the game Foundation. And it's a castle builder survival East type game <coughs> where you get attacked uh, in waves and it's always at night time uh, so it's a little bit like seven days to die mixed with uh, it's, I can't remember if it's called they are millions or billions or we are billions or whatever it's called I think it's they are billions where you get waves of enemies coming but each wave increases in numbers uh, and this is very similar so you at night time um, all of your villagers go away you've got your soldiers out defending um, and then you get these enemies come in and each night it gets harder and harder so let's get into the game um, we're going to do um, a mixture here because basically what we've got here now I don't know I don't know why this does this right I've got this weird bug where <laughs> it just always scrolls to the bottom of everything so that's a little bit of a weird thing I don't know whether that's my game or whether it's it's this game bugs or something um, I can't I've got nothing literally nothing else going on every other game is completely fine I've got no controllers on uh, but for some reason this one just moves everything down to the bottom anyway um, you've got choices so game duration 10 15 20 25 30 and unlimited uh, this first i'm going to break this into seasons and what i'm going to do is have season one is just going to be showing the game uh, i'll have everything on easy uh, season two i'm going to ramp it up we'll go for 20 days um, and we'll make everything a little bit harder uh, and we'll do it on a different map type so we've got eight levels of difficulty. So next um, uh, next season, we'll go for recruit. Then we'll do a veteran, and then we'll go for divinity. Um, resources, we're going to keep it abundant, just so that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and neutrals, neutrals is the the wolves. Um, we'll get to see them. Can't really see any in the background here. Oh the, yeah, these glowy things here. Um, they don't they won't come and attack you unless you go into their territory uh, but they can be quite useful for defending when enemies are coming uh, so yeah we're gonna this season's gonna be a nice easy one it'll probably be two episodes unless I die of course <laughs> if I die then it'll be shorter than planned um, but in a nutshell we've got two time scales normal speed and slow so I'm just gonna put it on slow for now uh, this button here brings up all of your um, builders and the buildings that builders can work or not builders sorry workers that they can work in um, we've got money uh, that they call it sunstone uh, we've got food stone wood uh, special resources uh, population army mood what day we're on so we're on day one of ten uh, we've got some obviously settings over here um, and this thing in the middle is like the it's like the clock so when it's orange like this this is the daytime it'll be on a timer and then once it reaches zero it will then turn night 
we have to defend ourselves. Um, so yeah, it's very, like I said, it's very foundation looking, kind of cartoony, not like ultra supersonic graphics, but you know, it's it's adequate for this style of game. Right, so first thing we need to do is everything's on really slow. Basically, when I'm building stuff, I'm going to put it on really slow, and then we'll put it on normal speed when we want to. In fact, I'm just going to put it on normal speed. <laughs> That's just ultra slow. Right, so we can place our castle in one of these green squares. Ideally, we want to have wood um, nearby. We want to have these gold colored things. These are your sunstones. These are required for building troops. Um, we need these colors, uh, greeny colored ones. These are stones. We need them for building. We need food and we need, um, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Food, wood and stone and sunstone. Right, this isn't the most amazing of areas to start off in. So I'm actually going to go for this block here. And then we can buy this block here, which is going to give us stone and wood. And I think I'm going to come down this way. And this side here. Right, so the way it works is, this is on a timer now, so we've got six minutes until we get attacked. I'm just going to put it on slow speed while I'm talking, actually. Um, does that slow the time down as well? Uh, yes, it does. Cool. So that's a quarter of the time. So... We're going to get a wave of enemies come. The first one will, will be one enemy, second wave will be three, and then it goes up from there. I don't know on the other difficulty levels. I've done, I played this through once just to see how it goes, and done the tutorial. And that's literally all I've done, so I'm not sure about the harder difficulty levels. But what I do know is see these torches, you've got torches around, you'll have torches around your land that you're on. So if we buy this one, it'll then put torches around this area here. Um, they will attack from the direction of the blue torches. So the orangey coloured ones is um, safe, the blue coloured ones is where the enemy is going to come from. So that's where we're going to want to put our defences initially. So we start off with five swordsmen. So I'm going to plunk these guys over there. And then we've got a couple of workers. We've got three workers. Uh, we need workers to build. And we need workers to um, make stuff, basically. Uh, right, so first thing I am going to do is put the time back onto one. We're going to go to general, we're going to build a, eh, sorry, resources, we're going to build a sawmill. We're going to plonk a sawmill right about there. So he'll cut these trees down. Uh, but we're going to also expand to here. So it's going to cost us 40 wood to expand. But as we expand further, it costs more and more. So it's gone up to, that'll go up to 80, then it'll be 120, um, and it'll increase from there. I'm going to put two workers in there, so that'll leave me one spur to build. He, we're going to go to general, we're going to build a house. We'll plunk a house uh, about here. And then that will increase the. Uh, capacity to five and then what I'm actually going to do which I didn't do when I was trialing this out is I'm going to actually build a stone now uh, stone quarry um, I'm going to plonk the stone quarry just there so we can start getting a collection of stone in straight away and that will also enable us to upgrade our house so two spur guys here um, I need to I need this uh, sunstone here um, and we also need food because food is going down so I'm actually going to buy this um, section next so we're going to click capture um, and then the next thing we're going to be building is going to be a farm 
uh, so that we can um, basically eat these sheep. <laughs> Uh, right, so it's, it starts off a little bit slow, but it will start getting hectic as we progress through. And the plan will for this um, this season, uh, so for this particular game that we're playing, uh, of our 10 days, will probably be two episodes. Um, I was initially thinking of doing one episode, but it took me a little over an hour um, to play this and I thought it's an hour too long I don't know I don't know what you guys think it's do you want it in chunks of half an hour or do you want it in chunks of an hour or do you want it in chunks of you just play until the end whether it's uh, you reach the end and win or whether you die so let me know in the comments if you are interested what you uh, would like to see in the future uh, right we got not enough yet 200 we need bring it in that wood uh, we're definitely gonna have to expand though because we are running out of wood oh we have yeah we haven't got much wood oh, we've got these few trees here in here so that's fine um, might need to expand. Hmm, we need food. We need food, but we need to expand for the trees. Luckily, the trees do grow back, and they grow back quite quick, to be fair. Right, farm. Let's get this down here. I'm going to rotate you a little bit. Plonk you there. So the way the enemies work is they'll come in, they'll come into this direction, they will attack whatever is in the, their line. And I believe they're just going in a straight line, attacking everything and to, to get towards the castle. I don't know personally because I've never let it run through to attack the castle. Um, I, think, I think that's how it will probably work. You lose your castle and it's game over. Right, so we can put a worker in here. If we click on here, this will show you show us what we're going. Oh, I didn't put anyone in the stone quarry. So I'm gonna have two in the farm, two in the sawmill, one in the stone quarry. Uh, and then we'll save up some money or some wood and we will build ourselves another house. So it's a little bit of a waiting game now, but the good thing is I'm building stone up quite early and that will enable me to upgrade the house, which will give us extra room. Right, here we go. Here's the first attack. Here's our first enemy coming in. He will die nice and easily. So first attack duration was about 30 seconds. But that's it. So now we're on day two. And we just rinse and repeat six minute timer until we get attacked. So now it's just a case of building up resources and expanding getting our defences all sorted out. Um, I found initially the best thing to do is get some archers, so that's what we're going to be working towards first, and then um, your siege weapons, so ballistas and trebuchets. So that's uh, what we're going to work towards, but we need to get this here. Two things, sunstones going down. Once we reach zero sunstones, this is what co um, our army costs. The army will then start losing health and die until this reach, until the um, cost army maintenance reaches zero, um, which is basically all of these guys. 
so they will all die off and we will then have nothing to defend ourselves. Uh, food, um, at the moment we're on plus 30 per minute, but if the f uh, food is in the minus and reaches zero, our workers will die. Um, so yeah, we need to make sure that we keep these things balanced. This is really important to get, so we need to capture um, and then we need to call resources, sunstone workshop, and we need to place this down here. So that's given us loads of areas for trees now, which is good. So wood will be coming in. We may need to put down another sawmill to ramp up our wood production. We're going to be getting attacked from this side. So I'll move our guys over here. And yeah, in fact, first thing I'm going to do actually is we're going to put some more houses down. Oh, I can actually upgrade this one first. Let's upgrade you. That'll give us an extra population spot. And then the next upgrade is 20. I might do that actually. I'll upgrade this spot. Um, For building a new house because we don't need the stone this this first level we don't really need any stone buildings so stone walls and stone castles and stuff like that that's all in the not castle sorry um, towers so towers and walls you can have in wood or stone we don't really need to have them in stone uh, for this this level this one's is quite easy to be fair right uh, this is nearly built and then we can get um, we've got no spur people at the moment let me upgrade you and then we're going to put down another house next because that can't be upgraded anymore uh, we've got one spur guy which I'm going to put into here and then the next person that comes along which is just now is going to build a house so we're going to plonk a house here Right, so as well as balancing our sun income, uh, I'm going to call this money, so as well as balancing our money and our food, we also need to balance our mood. Um, this will speed up the uh, arrival of new incomers, new residents. Um, I'm not sure what happens when it's really low, whether people stop working or people leave. I'm not quite sure because I've never, never let that happen. would kind of make sense that if it's in the minus people won't work or people would leave one of the two or maybe both all right we've got two spare people you always need to make sure you've well, got three people now you always need to make sure you've got um, spare people to do extra work what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another sawmill down here right down where can we get one in I haven't bought this patch, that's why I can't build one there. Let's buy that patch. That's going to be more food with us, for us, which we actually need now, because we're in the minus, minus 10. So we'll put a farm down first, and then we'll put a um, sawmill down. I'll have a quick sip of my herbal tea. Ah, it's early morning get a quick um, recording in before I have to do some work right uh, come on wood production is actually quite slow so I'm tempted to put a sawmill down first to ramp up the wood production and that's gonna we're gonna be fine for this we've got a good uh, 38 minutes before we run out of food at this rate anyway um, how how big is this oh, I can't even look to see how big the farm is right let's put put you there we need to get this wood production ramped up quite quickly because we're going to need that for building towers and stuff. Right, so we've got three guys coming in. So the first wave we had one. 
We now got three. So I'm going to click on this first guy. If he starts losing too much health, I'll move him out of the way. Ah, but we're good. We are good. So no production, no building, anything like that happens while um, it's night time. The workers all go to the safety of their houses. And then come back out when it's daytime again. in there. That leaves me one spur for building. Uh, we're going to upgrade this house two times. That'll give us an extra two people to a work. Um, right, we're getting attacked from this side this time, but what I'm going to want to build now is I want to build an archery range. So I'm going to plonk the archery range. I'm going to plonk you here. Yeah, I'm going to plonk you here. And then I'm going to put the flag for this building. Um, I'm going to plonk it up here just so I know all of my army guys can come up here. What I like about the archers is obviously they can fire at range so they can start shooting the enemy before they even get close. So there's less chance of my um, army taking damage. You have enough archers, you don't even need a, an army, so to speak, because they should take them out relatively easily. Right, there we go. Uh, right, let's build some troops. One, two, three, four, and five. We can upgrade this um, so we can have more getting built, but this is fine. That's all we need to do. In fact, let's have a six. six. Okay, right, so gold is fine, food is not fine, so we need to get a farm down here. Plunk you there. Let's have a look at the worker situation. So we've one on stone, one on that. We've got no spare people at the moment, so we will put down a house. Right about here. Now what I have found is the um, guys that work in the sawmill, um, I'm not sure if they are putting saplings down so the new trees spawn or whether the new trees just spawn randomly. Um, but what I did find when I did my practice playthrough to see how the game plays is trees were spawning right next to um, buildings and blocking people so sometimes you might have to remove a building and then replace it because people will be trapped inside alternatively put more sawmills down so that the trees don't really have much of a chance to um, block stuff for too long right we need to get worker in here that means i have one spur at the moment but we've got two people coming in and we're going to upgrade this building twice oh there's 20 it was saying 15 and second go confusing me right we're looking good we can now build oh we got we got our arches here so I'm going to plant the arches just behind these. I can click on you. You can go there. You can go there. Wait. You. There. Cool. Right. Mood is not so happy. So I want to build a tavern. Um, and the tavern will increase our happiness. 
not sure by how much. We'll have a look once it's built and put people in there. Also as well, each tile has a attractiveness, um, which will give us a bonus to our happiness. Um, so this doesn't have any happiness bonus. We can put down buildings like that now just increase the attractiveness bonus um, of this tile um, for a minus two on the happiness but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two workers in here we'll put one in first see what that does so a minus two so that's given us five let's put another one in and that should put it to plus eight yeah, there we go. So, having a worker in a tavern gives you plus five to happiness. Uh, we've got 40 seconds before we get attacked, so I'm actually going to plonk down another house in preparation um, for us growing. Um, I'm going to take over this tile here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to take over that tile so we can get a little bit more wood access and this one here so that more wood access <coughs> and then it's just going to be a case of putting up our defences I'll probably be reasonably happy with that we're going to have to get another oh here we go, here we go how many have we got this time? Uh, we got five so one three five see look at the arches awesome that was really good it looks like the time on that increased oh and the daytime's increasing as well so it's now six minutes 50 seconds or it was right so what we will do then is we will definitely make this a two-part potentially a three-part um, season um, so we'll do today we'll get through tonight we'll then call it an end of an episode and then the next episode we will start um, in day five um, right what are we doing what are we doing we need to we need more food and we need more um, money sunstone and I'm not really seeing oh god I'm not seeing any sunstone wow right we've got one all the way up here we've got a couple up here so I think I'm gonna have to expand down this way so if we take that tile and this tile um, we can put a sawmill in here we've got four spare people good job good job I'm going to no I'm not going to expand that yet because we need food we can put a hunter's lodge in here for the boar but I don't know whether that is um, will get exhausted so we might need to come down this way and get some cows I can't um, make this any better oh right there, right yes I can I was clicking on the wrong tab or wrong um, part of the building so we can add more workspace, I don't know whether well, I think there's only one way to find out. I don't know whether that will increase our foods. We're on minus 10. We'll see what that goes to once we get a worker in there. Ah, plus 30. Okay, so that's that's nice. That's given us a nice little increase. Uh, let's get two workers here. That leaves me with two spur. Uh, and then we can put another sunstone building here we'll get a couple of people working in there and that will then bring up our sunstone we need this to purchase troops as well as uh, the maintenance for our troops 
Right, where are we getting attacked from? We're getting attacked from this side next. So let's move over here. And then we're going to start looking at getting some walls up once we've got what we need. The main thing we need to make sure is we balance our sunstone and food um, and obviously mood. So the population decreases mood but cell attractiveness I'm guessing increases it. Right, um, I want my archers towards the back and the other guys, the swordsmen to the front. What would be nice is if you could like, when you got these highlighted, you could... Oh, you can! Ha <laughs> Derp! I was just going to say, it would be nice if you could make them line up in a certain formation, and you can. So, good on them. Right, we have got two and a half minutes left, guys, of this day, and of this episode. How will it go? Money's fine, food is fine, we need to get some workers in here. And I want to increase this building. So all of these buildings, all these houses are at maximum at the moment. I don't know if they will go up anymore. If we have a certain building now to increase that. But either way, uh, we have a potential of 19 people. So that'll give me two spare people to do some more building once they arrive. There's one. <coughs> and the second one should be coming in pretty soon. Here it comes. Three, two, one, and arrive. There we go. Right. Just gotta wait this time out now, one and a half minutes. And everything is looking pretty good. Why are these guys not doing anything? Are we Oh we're at maximum limit. We need to build a warehouse. So we can store more wood. Uh, I'm gonna put the where this warehouse down here. And resources, uh, Hunter's Lodge, we're going to plonk in there. So that means we're going to need more houses. Plonk you there. <coughs> we can increase this. What's the capacity now? 1800. Good, good. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So I think I'll probably take this tile here and then we can kind of have the border going around. But to be honest, <laughs> this level is so easy. We, you probably get away with um, having walls up and just maybe a couple of towers of the direction they're going to come to. It's probably the last three days is going to be the hardest. Right, how many we've got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> they're all going to die off. Here we go. Excellent. And that was a success. Here's one thing I don't, I don't quite understand about this game, oh, which has baffled me. You got these wall, uh, these cliff edges, and these kind of ramps, but the cliff edges make no difference because everyone can walk up and down them, so they're kind of irrelevant. So I don't know why they're there. Uh, what's the point in having the, the 
the terrain when the terrain makes no difference. But either way, um, I'm going to call it an end of an episode, leave you in a little bit of suspense. We will bring you back in the next episode um, to finish off the last five days. It does seem that the time for each day is increasing. So the next episode might be a little bit longer than this one. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you're enjoying this new little game that I've got on the channel. And next week we'll, we'll have more videos coming out. Um, I do promise you that. We'll have a trucking with our single player career. We'll have some farming. I'm actually going to change up the farming plan. I was originally just doing tutorials for different things, but I'm actually going to do a playthrough, um, single player playthrough, which will incorporate um, tutorials built into it, but I'm just going to do a playthrough as well, rather than do specific uh, tutorials just on certain things. Um, Flight will continue with our um, tour of European cities uh, or capitals um, and then obviously weekends will be random videos like this so yeah I hope you I hope you're good stay safe and I shall see you soon goodbye